see. We got the sinus crud of some sorts and it slowed us down, but it ain't knocked us out. So we're on our way back to Kentucky. It's October 25th, probably the time of year you need to start spending a whole lot of time up a tree. But we don't even know what tree we want to be up because we ain't never been to where we're going. If you don't know why it's this time of year and we're just now, or we're going to fresh ground in Kentucky, then hit pause, grab those first two episodes that we put out, and they'll explain why we're having to new, hit new ground in Kentucky. Um, but it's about to be the rut, or it is the rut, or it's coming, or it's gone, or who knows, but we're headed to fresh ground. Uh, I've got two and a half days to kind of stretch my legs. Uh, got some trail cameras if we choose to put those out. But just trying to more or less find a spot because I got to be back on Friday for some uh, for a wedding. Then I'll be back for another handful of days. So what my plan is to get up here, put some boots on the ground, find some stuff that makes us excited, go back, take care of the wedding, and then come back and put some seat time in. But uh, I just want to make sure that November first of November time frame. Um, that I'm somewhere I got some confidence. So that's where we're headed. Back to Kentucky. Um, and we're gonna hopefully figure something out. One thing you ain't gotta worry about is lack of effort. It's morning number one in Kentucky for the revisit, the rut visit. I wish we knew where one was because it'd be a beautiful morning to hunt. But a lot of rain yesterday, nice little west wind a bit. I bet it'd be a good day. Good morning to be on one, but we ain't on one, so we're going to find one. Yeah, I'm thinking we just ran that deer off. That is what you call a fresh sign. Mm hmm. Drop us a pin to kind of plan together here. So we just jumped a deer. These rubs. I don't know what a buck sounds like snorting versus a doe, but that sounded like a big deer. It would be. <laughs> that sounded bigger than a probably a yearling forky, but we've uh, got us a little mock scrape. We're learning. Dad and I have switched gears and we're up in the ridges now. Stupid fresh stuff here. We kind of just busted through these ridges and got back in here to where there's a saddle. So if deer are trying to go from one big bottom to the other big bottom, which I assume is bedding, it's thicker. I'm thinking these bucks might be checking those beds and they might be using these little saddles to go from one to the other rather than having to go straight up and down because this stuff does get surprisingly steep. It's been broke off before. It's historical looking like it's been bit several times. And there's the cheat code right there. So we're doing a little bit of that, putting the cameras where the deer have been, rather than where they should be, but I think this is the spot that they should be. Just looking at the topography, it, it makes sense for bucks to be cruising through here. Time will tell. Our evening endeavor has not been quite as fruitful as our morning and midday endeavor. High stem count ridge stuff and you ain't really found much to amount to nothing. Need to get back and study some maps tonight and figure out some spots to dive in tomorrow. Well, We've started this morning a little hardwood thicket, as you can see. Yeah, not really feeling it. He's one you hope don't come by you early, but he better hope he don't come by me late. <laughs> He's cruising through. Him. Just came down to the back of this old lake bed. Second quarter, she got him a doe. It's back to new ground. 
We swung through last week for two days before I had to retreat for a wedding. It was a productive two days. We come out here, spent all the all the time on our feet and found a lot of sign actually. I mean we found a lot. Um, we put our cameras on most of it and those things have been dead. I'm talking about dead, dead, dead. Halloween's tomorrow, so here's my thinking. It's cruising time. The deer are gonna be cruising. Once I saw evidence that, and in fact, deer seemed to have been moving through the area, I hung a camera and expected to see some deer moving through. And I'm, when I say radio silence, I'm talking about flatline. But we ain't found nothing on camera, so it's kind of got me scratching my head and figuring out what I'm missing. I will say we only hung one of the cameras up in the ridges. The most of the stuff was more down in the bottoms and flatter stuff, swampy stuff. So I don't know if that's what I'm missing. So I'm just walking and I heard a bleh. So maybe I should be in a tree. I don't know. Here's a theory that I'm tossing around in my head. First off, one thing I know is that leaves are falling so fast they're covering up a ton of sign when you get into the hardwoods. Like a ton. Down in the bottoms and the th those thick fields and uh, not so thick fields and whatever that don't have the oaks, the leaves are not falling so you're finding a lot more sign which you know, you tend to want to put your cameras and set your time over the sign. But we all know this time of year, bucks are kind of cruising where does are, and I ain't too sure they ain't all up on top because that's where the food is. It's hard to narrow down the food because there's so much. I mean, the acorns are just throughout. So that's why I was kind of headed to the bottoms, thinking that would be the thick stuff. That'd be some bedding, and that's where things would be happening, but... We got cameras down there for, I don't know, nearly a week now. And I know that's kind of impatient, but I just feel like it's the end of October. It's not time to be patient, so. I'm not seeing activity on those cameras. It lets me think that those deer are spending time there. I'm thinking that I'm looking at sign that's, I'm two weeks behind them, essentially. Anyway, theories, strategies, All of them's wrong. Can't, not they all wrong. No, none of them's good. None of them's right. None of them's good. They're all good. I mean, they're all bad. Terrible, terrible strategies. Terrible thought process. Need to just wash our brain clean and figure something else different. southwest which is perfect for this spot um but there just ain't no deer come down through here that's that's a big big part of this being a successful mission is for the deer to do what the deer need to do and they aren't doing that so we came up dry this morning sit typically if my eyes are empty, my legs and feet are full because I'm gonna start moving again. I can't, uh, I can't help it. If I ain't seeing them, I feel like I gotta go find them.
only reason I'm still in a tree is some consulting maps trying to figure out where else I want to go to be efficient with my time. And I heard walking in that little buck, like a little six pointer I think he was, was right under me before I saw him. Cause I'm up here not paying attention. I've had about enough. 10.35. Gonna get down. Well, it's back to the search portion of the show. It just looks like this road bed should be littered with scrapes and whatnot. But I'm not, I'm not seeing any activity. No signs of life up here up on this one. The second spot was much more productive than the first. Did half the walk and found twice the sign. It feels like we still got a prop. Whatever that was was no joke. A rock or stomp or something. To you on this dreary, rainy November 2nd. I came up to the ridges again and I went to where I scouted yesterday, day before yesterday, and um, found a lot of sign on these little finger ridges. And I jumped a deer off this ridge that I think was a buck. Um, don't expect to see much, if anything, today, but hopefully if we do see something, it'll be a buck. Yeah. Now you know what I'm doing on November 2nd in a shag bark hickory that is loud as sin. Alright, it's 11 o'clock. I've had enough. Just had some turkeys run by over there. Couldn't get them on video, but that's the most excitement I've had today. Y'all know the drill. And there's acorns everywhere. But <clears throat> if I don't get my eyes full in the morning, then I'm usually running my legs empty the rest of the day. Considering that it's 70 and I don't have my eyes on a, 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 a slammer, then I'm still on the hunt to find a slammer. Well, we've about walked the light out of another day. We find this guy. Pretty decent little shed. But, uh, put out one more camera. Maybe it'll tell us something. It's another exciting episode of watching Dave go sitting a, sit in a tree. And watch the wind blow the leaves. But it's uh, our last morning before we take a little break. We gotta run back home and uh, take care of business, so to speak. But uh, it is uh, November 3rd. We're going to uh, go up here, another ridge system haven't hunted it before have walked it before but just a ridge system and i'm gonna get on a little place that kind of connects the dots and see if we can't get a buck to cruise down that thing checking for a lovely lake Yards from where I want to be. The deer blows out and it's causing a 
ruckus. So, who knows? Dang it. Oh, jeez, what a morning. Pretty nice day it is. So we'll go ahead and kind of bring you up to speed on what's happened thus far. Sometimes the best laid plans can just go to crap, you know. Came in with plenty of time. When I was getting to the little spot on the river that I wanted to pull up. I was using a spotlight to get into my spot and avoid stumps. Whatever. There's a freaking stud bug. I mean, he wasn't like an absolute giant. Like, I don't think he was like a 170 or nothing. But I'm pretty sure he was a solid shooter standing on the riverbank. So I'm about, a, I don't know, 100 yards off in the water watching him. He's sitting there making a rub on the riverbank. So I wait on him to do all his thing and then goes up the bottom that I've got to go up to get to here. So, he goes up and looks like he banks left. I've had two spots that I had kind of been to potentially climb. He went toward one of them, so I was going to come to this one. Well, I give him, a, you know, ten minutes or so to get in here, maybe a little more. I start sneaking in here and the leaves were surprisingly quiet because the dew was so heavy. And I walked right up. I don't know if it was him, but it was a deer. I walked right up on one. And it then it blew and raised hell.
bug is just slow trailing those does, not pushing them, not running them. Like they were just, I made them out and they just kind of made their way across and eased on down and I picked him up and he just kind of did the same thing. He actually stayed on my side of the ridge for quite a ways up here, which is why I had everything pivoted around the tree because I can shoot pretty well up through there. I mean, he crossed at about 50 and if he had kept on that course, he's at about 50 when he turned up. If he had kept on that course, he had crossed at about 35 or 40, but no such luck. Well, it's a little after 2 o'clock. Um, I gotta get on the road. This will be the last you hear from me for a few days. Um, we'll be back. Uh, but for now, I gotta get on the road and haul it home to play catch up for a few days. So, maybe we will uh, be in the thick of it when we return. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.